Hey, what's going on folks? It's Creative Duelist here representing Team FTK and I've been making decks creative since 2016. Welcome folks. Today I'm here with my Satellanite deck profile. This is a deck that I've just been craving to play. I've had this deck for a good couple of years. Uh, I love this deck so much and I wouldn't get rid of it for all the gold in the world. But anyway folks, before I get right into the meat and potato of things, I have a couple of announcements. So of course, if you folks would like to support us on a personal level, we do have uh, PayPal, links in the description if folks would like to tip us on an occasional level, please do so. Uh, all of it goes back into, into the channel and not into our pockets, uh, of course, to help us purchase new cards. Also, we are sponsored by Inked Gaming. Inked Gaming sells a variety of items such as mouses, keyboards and mats. Please uh, implement our promo code if you'd like to purchase anything through Inked Gaming. The promo code is TeamFTK10 to get you 10% discount on anything you shall purchase through Inked Gaming. And of course, happy shopping. Now, that's pretty much it for the announcements. Links shall also be in the description for anything else. We do have a Facebook page if you folks would like to join that. But anyway, going to get right into the meat potato of things. It's a Telenites, very fun deck, very anti-meta, and it's just one of those decks that are really good um, in terms of Rogue. And I remember it being top tier back in its time, back in its heyday. So we're going to get right into the monster lineup. So I've got the triple Satellanite Deneb, very standard. Deneb pretty much searches any Satellanite monster from the deck upon summon. And that's pretty much all she does. Then we've got triple Anunculi. He is your foolish burial. Uh, Anunculi helps to send off your, Satel your Satellanite monsters uh, to the graveyard. So then, of course, you can use the um, Altair to um, bring out more Satellanite monsters uh, during mid-game. So then it helps you make Traver, or obviously make the uh, Balamus. Ba Balamus. And then, of course, go into Traver that way. So there's many combos and strategies you can do with the deck. Then we've got the triple Altair, Speak of the Devil. Move this aside. Altair is your wolf bark. So Altair just pretty much special summons a Satellanite monster from the graveyard uh, upon summon, which is pretty good. And then, of course, for the last of the Satellanite monsters, I do play the one Fager. Uh, you can play two. Um, I just can't find my second copy anywhere, but people like to play one. Uh, Fager just helps to combo extend. So Vega allows you to special summon uh, another Telenite monster from the hand. So again, make you can make um, a rank 4 play with 3 uh, level 4 monsters and it comes up in many situations. And that's going to round up the whole um, Satellanite monster lineup. Then we've got some hand traps. I do play the double Ash Blossom and one Honest as my spicy tech. Um, people used to give me a lot of slack for Honest. I honestly... Ha, pun intended. I do not care. Honest always catches my opponent off guard. I love playing Honest, especially when they think they can just carelessly attack into my Satellanite monsters, and I'll just drop it Honest on them. He, he does come in clutch. So that's going to round up the whole monster lineup, folks. Now for the spells, I've got the tr I've got the double pot of pot of desires just to help us m um, mow for our decks for answers. Double Duality, standard. Uh, one Genesis. I might change Genesis. I might just put Twin Twister in. Because Genesis is mainly good, you know, as a side deck option. But it's up to personal preference. <clears throat> We've got one Skybridge. Skybridge is good for tagging out Satellite monsters, especially in certain situations. So say if your opponent tried to target them with, a, with an effect, you can just go Skybridge swap it out tag it out and bring one from deck with a different name so again it helps to dodge certain things so it's really good then we got one monster reborn one foolish and one reinforcement to round up our spell lineup for the traps i've got the solemn package so i've got the grandpa package double judgment double strike and one warning uh, the solemn lineup is completely up to personal preference. You can just cut some of it down. You can just you can simply play three judgments and reduce the strikes, or increase the strikes and reduce the judgments, or cut the warning or play the warning. It's up to personal preference, really and truly. 
Then we got triple Satella Nova, Nova Alpha. Another, it's basically another so, uh, part of the Solemn family. Um, it negates the spell or trap or monster effect, so it's a judgment and lets you draw a card, but you have to send a face up Telenite monster to, to do so. And of course, nets you that draw to replace the <coughs> the monster you get rid of. So again, it keep it it stops you from going minus basically. Triple call the haunted to bring back the Telenite monsters, and of course, the continuous traps are really good in the deck because you can recycle them with Trefair. Trefair will bounce everything back, so you've got call the haunted for days. Now I do apologize, I do have the triple Phantom Knight Fog Blade. This is supposed to be Fiendish Chain. Fiendish Chain is a lot better because you can still attack the monster, whereas Fog Blade stops you from attacking the monster. But it's not too much of a problem. You can easily just take you, you know, I'm just playing this because I can't find my Fiendish Chains. You can just cut this and put Fiendish Chains in, because Fiendish Chain is a little bit better in this circumstance than Fog Blade. But Fog Blade is, you know, it it it's a Phoenix chain basically. Phoenix chain Phoenix chain 2.0. So it's not a problem. And of course, as I said before, Trefair, you can just you can use Fog Blade to slow your opponent down and then just Trefair bounce everything back and you can still continue with playing with your plays and kill your opponent. We've got triple storming mirror force as our battle trap. Uh, people don't see it come in sometimes, or you can even side in mirror forces and such. Double compulse. It is really good, um, especially against monsters that can't be destroyed by card effects or stuff like that. So, or destroyed by battle, it just removes it, gets rid of it. One Oasis and one Phantom Knight's Sword. Testing this out because I like the, the attack boost it gives. This is just my spicy tech. So that's going to round up the whole main deck. Extra deck. I've got the triple Satella Knight Traver. Trevair pretty much um, upon summon, XYZ summon, uh, it bounces everything except itself. So it's really good against certain matchups. Um, and also you can detach a material and pitch a card from your opponent's hand and send it to the grave. And um, he floats, so when he dies, he brings back a Satellite monster, which is good. Then we've got one Daltaros. Daltaros is so good. Uh, stops your opponent from... from uh, what is it? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it stops your opponent from activating cards or effects uh, to your normal or special summons. So they can't solemn, they can't negate your summons, they can't respond to the summon. So Delta so Deltaros really makes your place safe. Which is really good. And of course it blows up something as well, which is cool. Then we got uh, the uh, diamond. Diamond pretty much craps all over dark decks and banishes uh, their stuff. And he banishes things that get try that try to get milled to the grave. So that's really good. This card is really good, especially against like Burning Abyss or, or Orcus or any sort of matchup that plays darks. So diamond is really solid. No pun intended. <laughs> then we got the double uh, Batsimus. Pretty much... Batamus is just there to help you make Trevair really easy. So, because obviously the old playstyle was to bring three Satella Knight monsters, that kind of is slow. Um, it, that that um, old school method is slow. You can still do it, but Batamus just makes life a hell of a lot easier by just using two uh, Tele Knight monsters and then pitching a card, I believe, and and then just uh, detaching material, then sticking Trevere to bounce. So it just makes life a hell of, hell of a lot easier. And I'm testing out some of the XYZs here. Uh, one Timeless. Uh, timeless, I like the draw effect. So you skip your draw phase and you draw two and then pitch a card, which isn't really a problem, especially if you've got an established field. One Exiton Knight, one Castell. Utopia package, one Tornado Dragon, Abyss Dweller, and Digusto Emerald to round up my extra deck. So that's going to pretty much round up the whole main deck, extra deck, and the whole profile. So thank you all for watching. If you folks enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment down below. Feedback is always nicely here. Tell me your thoughts down in the comment section. Remember to check out those links. And of course, support your boy, support the channel, support our team. And that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you all for watching. It's Creative Duelist representing Team FDK. 
signing off. Peace.